Okay, hello golfers. Today's uh, lesson is on the five purposes of the pivot. Five of them. All I need you to do is pivot, but I might as well, I'll expand on it. Five purposes. First one is to give you power, the workhorse of a golf swing, to make it whoosh as your pivot. Number two is you'll have consistency, because if you pivot every time the same, if your left side always goes to this post, versus one time it goes like this, and one time it stays here, and one time it spins too far. So consistency. Three, you'll have balance. If you pivot well and you balance on this toe, you don't even need that toe, you'll have balance. You'll look good, that's another good thing. And you can control distance, because if your pivot goes slow, you don't hit it as far, and if you want to hit it farther, your pivot is gonna to have to pull a little harder. That way you don't have to change how your hands or arms swing. You just follow your pivot. Okay, what is a pivot? On the backswing, a pivot, I got these two posts here. The backswing is your right hip just moves a couple inches back. It never goes sideways, that is a sway, and it never goes this way. You don't want to get farther away. So all your right hip has to do is watch this. I touch it, and it moves a couple inches. Right pocket back, they call it. So it's a very small move on the way back, but the power, we hit the ball going that way, folks. So the next move is left leg bumps, slides, shifts. They say all you do, though, is have to get your left knee back over your foot. Okay? So uh, they call it bumping this post. A lot of pros call it posting up. On every swing, they go over to the post. So they post up on their left side. I've heard other players call it this. You must go into the wall or the post before you go around. Watch this player spin too fast. He gets it back and goes, spin. So if you spin your lower body, you don't even get to that post. And it throws your, you're gonna pull the ball or slice it badly. But the real thing about a pivot is it's your sequence. It is the thing that starts the sequence the other way. So the club's going back, 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 and my feet and knees change directions and I start the other way. Notice how my shirt got real tight there? A real good pivot always elongates your left side. That side gets longer. If you don't pivot well, you'll lose all the strength out of that left side. So a good pivot, you go back, your feet and knees change directions, your left hip shifts. I don't care what you call it, a shift, a bump, a slide, a post, but something to the left every time. It's just a little move to the left. A lot of players think they move their left side. I don't even care if you think your right knee goes that way. If you, if you think about how your right thigh and knee go that way, I go into the post again. So to that post. Okay, it creates power, consistency, balance, and you look good. This position right here is called kissing your knees. Whether you call it balanced and your knees are, yeah, they call it the K position. But if you get over there, you won't even need that right foot. It's just a kickstand. Okay, what else do I want to call this? Oh, by the way, the higher your hands and arms go on this side, the more it's necessary that you do slide. Because if you get your hands high and then turn, you're in big trouble. Players that go flat over here, this is called flat, they might need to rotate more with their legs. But if your hands float up, you'd better slide a little bit. Nicholas, by the way, knocked things over. You can see this bag stand here. Watch, Nicholas went back and then he drove so far that he knocked bag stands over. His knees went that far. But find your own pivot, the one that works for you. So when you get back, focus how your feet, and you'll feel it in your insteps too. Insteps, knees, it gets up to hips. I almost don't like to think hips very much. They're too close to your shoulders. So if you think hips a lot of times, you spin shoulders. Remember, the, the worst part of any thinking pivot is overdoing it and spinning out. Because if you spin too much, of course, you'll pull your chest with it. If you pull your chest too far in front of that line, you're gonna have some poles and slices. So do it, a pivot doesn't have to do very much, by the way, I hit the ball really good sometimes when I just go, my hip moves a little, and I bump a little, and it feels like little moves. It feels like an inch or two this way, and it feels, even though it looks like five inches, to me it feels like I slide an inch. Okay, that's what it feels like. So mi minimize your thoughts, and you'll hit the ball better and more consistent. Give it a go, have a good pivot, have a good week.